Yo, what's going on guys? Today's video is going to be pretty simple, pretty chill. Basically, people keep asking about the right settings to use when it comes to freestyling and trying to learn how to do that kind of stuff. And yeah, well, the standard answer is there is no right answer. You can kind of use whatever you want and just get comfortable with them and you'll be fine. I wanted to explain why I use my settings and whether or not you should use similar ones. And then to finish off, I'll show you some of my most used car presets in my videos because people tend to uh, link their settings videos with their car presets videos all in one. It's going to be pretty chill. It'll be a pretty chill video. Uh, I am working on a few vids that I'm pretty excited about. And so I am taking some extra time this week for those. Now, if you're here literally just for the settings, I completely understand. Then please skip to the time shown on the screen now. But as just a thing for me, this kind of messes up my viewer attention and scuffs how well the video will do on YouTube. And so as a personal thing for me, I would say please watch it through to understand uh, why I'd use the settings I do, whether or not you should. But then again, I understand if you don't want to. So I have spoken in the past about settings a fair few times, and I am someone who has changed settings hundreds and hundreds of times. Right now, I literally have a bet going on with my stream where every time I change my settings, I donate $100 to charity. And even though you would think putting a price on it would stop me, I now owe $800. So when I only played competitive and my only focus was ranking up and improving, I did what everyone else did and what I'm sure you have done as well. I looked up some pro settings and I copied them. This would normally result in something like 270 distance, 100 height, and a minus three angle. This is pretty standard. As for the controller settings, it was always something like 1.3 for aerial sense and steering sense, and then 0.05 controller sense. That last one, the controller sense, that's the important one. 0.05 is what many pros consider the perfect sense for competitive players. It is low enough to make your car sensitive to all of your little movements and to give you precise control over your car, but not too low that a tiny amount of stick drift can start to affect your gameplay. So that's what I was using for the longest time. I would change it up a little bit every now and then, but these were the basics that I was using. And then I discovered freestyling. And like many of you, I sat there and went, okay, how do I get into this? So then I took a look into freestyler settings and it is a completely different thing altogether. Their cameras are ranged from pretty normal and far out to really up close to their car. Their dead zone is through the roof. Everything is different. And yet, they look like they have more control than the pros. And so after looking into it all and trying a whole bunch of settings, I settled for these as my camera settings and these as my controller settings. Now the reason is simple enough. I put my clips and my gameplay on YouTube and I stream. So I need a camera that is easy to look at. And I don't personally like watching gameplay with a really close up camera. Plus I would still be playing ranked every day. And so I need something that is good for both freestyling and competitive. And so naturally I look to a competitive freestyler and I found Forky. Here's all around great settings. I based my camera settings off him. That part's easy. The much harder part was when it came to controller settings. Now, everyone has different settings here. It is so varied that it's hard to find a medium. Some players will play with an incredibly high dead zone around 0.40, and some people actually play at 0.03, even lower than the pros. Now, there are certain things that are way easier with a higher dead zone, things like no flips and stalls. And I am someone that wants to have everything available to me and to make it as easy as possible. So I found a nice in-between setting. 0.15 controller dead zone is high enough that you can no flip and stall pretty easily, but also low enough to still be pretty sensitive and comfortable and competitive. Obviously it takes some getting used to, but once you do, it is really nice all around. Anyway, these are my settings. If you want to take a dip into freestyling while also having some competitive settings so that you can bounce between the two, these are what I recommend. If you want to go fully into freestyling, I would suggest maybe upping the dead zone to maybe 0.20 or 0.25. Some people even sit around 0.30 or 0.35. All it means is that the higher you go, the less sensitive your analog stick is going to be, which can be pretty helpful for freestylers. 
and if you want a deeper look into that, I cover it in a lot more depth in the video you see on screen now. The link to that will be in the description. But yeah, that's it. That's all my settings. Now to just throw on some chill music and show you guys some of the car presets I see you asking about a lot. Thank you for watching. I got some really cool videos coming up. Looking forward to them and I hope you are too. Anyway, thank you guys. I'll see you next time.